Hello everyone and a very happy evening to all of you. Welcome once more to the expert talks being conducted as part of the Butterfly and Bee Awareness Week of 2022. This is the sixth year of these programs which are being conducted annually. And today is the third talk of this week. We had two talks earlier in the week by Deepak Nayak on Monday the 28th on the butterflies of Dakshina Kannada and by Manideep Mandal on Tuesday the 29th on the egg laying strategies of butterflies. We will be having two more expert talks tomorrow and the day after as part of the awareness week of 2022. Do join us for them. Uh, the recordings of the previous year's talks are also available on the Bangalore Butterfly Club YouTube channel. I'll repeat the name again. It's the Bangalore Butterfly Club channel. And the recordings of this week's expert talks will also be made available shortly on the same channel. So if you missed any of them or would like to revisit them, they are available for your viewing. Uh, today is day three of the talks, as I mentioned earlier. And the speaker for today's expert talk is Netra Bhatt. Netra has completed her MSc in Organic Chemistry and she was working as a lecturer for five years. She has been in the field of butterflies for the past eight years and has recorded 197 species from Siddhapur in Uttar Kannada, that is the northern coastal district of Karnataka. She has also followed the life cycles of some butterflies, including those of oak, oak blues and tinsel. She is here today to talk to us about the beautiful Butterflies of Uttara Kannada. Before she starts, we request the viewers to please keep yourself muted and keep your videos off during the talk. Any questions that you might have can be posted in the uh, chat and the speaker will address them at the end of the talk. Welcome and thank you, Netra, for being here to introduce us to the butterflies of Uttara Kannada. Over to you. Thank you, Priya. <clears throat> so, I welcome you all for my presentation on butterflies of Uttara Kannada. <clears throat> so I'm Netra Bhatt, a butterfly enthusiast from Uttara Kannada district. And uh, butterflying is my passion. Actually, whole day I'll be butterflying only. And uh, almost a whole day, because uh, since I'm staying at the village, since I am at my place. So butterflying is uh, not a difficult task for me. If I sit outside my house also, butterflies start coming and approaching me. So I should go behind them with my camera. There is no option at all. So uh, with this introduction, I'll start my presentation. So Uttar Kannada is this part of Karnataka state. Many people confuse Uttar Kannada with Uttar Karnataka of this state. It is not Uttar Karnataka, it is Uttar Kannada, which is situated in the heart of almost uh, in the heart of uh, Karnataka. So, in Uttar Kannada, there are uh, many taluks. I am from this taluk, Siddhapur. So, all my studies, all my observations are from. Siddhapur only. So in Siddhapur also, I have, uh, you know, I have restricted myself to a particular uh, Gram Panchayat area that I'll be talking about in the next slide. So area of uh, Uttar Kannada district is uh, 10,291 square kilometers with a population of about 15 lakhs. Density of population is very less compared to other districts in Uttar Kannada. That is 140 per square kilometer area. So as I move on, I'll come to my taluk, that is Siddhapur. Elevation is 564 meter from the sea level. Here the population is around 1 lakh. And it has almost a tropical evergreen forest area with annual rainfall of 500 to 600 centimeters, which is very high. And till now, I have recorded 198 species of butterflies since 23rd September 2013. This is the date when I have started butterflying. 
my butterfly journey started with a interesting story actually uh, dr prashant but who was a phd scholar at karnataka university dharwad came to my place just to photograph the butterflies i was not knowing anything till then but after watching how he photographs how he does butterfly i started becoming interested in the field and then started catching the butterflies with my point and shoot camera nikon point and shoot camera that i was having during that time and then the journey continued and with the canon camera which i am having right now so this is the area where i do almost all the photographs uh, i'll photographing almost all the records are from this area this is purely having uh, you know uh, evergreen uh, plantations only mainly consisting of hopiwapanga with that there are diverse vegetations in this place my place looks something of this kind this is dry area grassland next to that there will be you know uh, residential there will be some houses one or two and then immediately next to that the dark forest evergreen forest starts hill like area so we are at the foot hills of these ghats this is extension of uh, sharavati valley <coughs> uh, reserved forest we are under that area only we are uh, living in the reserved forest area only so first i'm going to start uh, my butterfly share my butterfly experience with the family like an ide why this in the first light uh, why i am starting with this is that i love blues more they are more fascinating than other butterflies because you cannot observe it uh, uh, like others big big butterflies these are very small in size and you have to go to the field to see them so i'll start with the like an ide these the like an ide are uh, majority of them will be attracted to the flowers of soap nut tree i don't know the scientific name i'm not good in that sorry for that so this is soap nut tree which we'll call as atlakai in kannada these flowers attract the royals very much so from november to december it will be flowering and during that time it will be a festival to watch blues the next one is lia indica which is another flowering plant plant which attracts the blues this is a lantana which attracts some of the blues not all will be attracted to this and this one is um, gumberry plant this gumberry also it will start flowering from october so till december you can have flowers of this gumberry and during that time many butterflies will be visiting this so wherever there are these flowers you can watch out for some blues in my area that is in halgeri which is a gram panchayat all uh, it is a bigger gram panchayat area in uh, sitapur taluk actually moving on to the next slide i have aberrant oak blue this is one special sighting from uh, uttar kannada uh, that is from halgeri which is a rare butterfly and i have seen this uh, for about 3 to 4 times in my 9 years of butterfly experience this photo was taken when me ashok sen gupta sir and prashant bhat sir when we were butterflying in halgeri i took this photo probably ashok sir is also having the similar photo i hope i have done the life cycle of aberrant oak blue also on hopia ponga probably this is the first reported uh, life cycle from uttar kannada uh, first reported life cycle of aberrant oak blue from uttar kannada i hope this is the first instar caterpillar then this is second instar in the third instar hairy like structures will be you know it will be more 
there is difference from instar to instar this is the fourth instar this is the fifth instar caterpillar and this is before the pupation uh, the caterpillar takes it its own time to pupate and this is a photo taken before pupation and after pupation i could not take the photograph actually so before eclosion i have taken some of the photographs these two are there this is a brilliant male which has emerged from the pupa actually this one you can watch immediately after the eclosion you can see this aberrant oak blue this is just eclosed just born aberrant oak blue from hulgeri i have given details of life cycle egg was laid on 23rd of february 2014 the life cycle was done during 2014 only egg hatched on 2nd of march it took these many days to hatch luckily it hatched in uh, my custody <laughs> i was doubting whether it hatches or not luckily it hatched and then i couldn't photograph first instar as i was having point and shoot camera the second instar was you know from fourth i could watch uh, second instar from fourth in one day it has turned into third instar caterpillar and then it took almost 3 days to enter into fourth stage and then from 8 to 13 it was it took these many days to enter into fifth instar and then it took little more days to pupate on 22nd of march the ca the caterpillar pupated and it was eclosion was on 31st of march at 7:35 am one interesting feature is that all these aberrant oak blue cats they will Uh, uh or uh, the aberrant oak blue butterfly that lays eggs on aged leaf only once the egg gets hatched the caterpillar starts eating the tender leaves which is different for other oak blues what i'll be talking in the next slides next one is canara oak blue which is a frequent or which is a very common butterfly in halgeri we can watch about uh, one, count this 1 2 3 4 5 five individuals were there two were mating and others were disturbing this photo was also taken during 2014 only this is a recent photo i have done the life cycle of canara oak blue many a times these are the caterpillars first second third and fourth instar probably this is fifth instar caterpillar one special nature of canara oak blue is that this caterpillar killer this caterpillar it closes itself inside the leaf it makes a shell type appearance and it will be hiding in that uh, particular folding and it starts eating the leaf from there only which is not seen in uh, aberrant oak blue which is not seen in tamil oak blue also that is one special nature of canara oak blue caterpillar what i have observed yeah this is before pupation these are pupae of canara oak blue moving on to the next butterfly that is one more important butterfly which was recorded from halgeri that is tamil oak blue uh, this is a pretty common butterfly in halgeri the people say that tamil oak blue is rare but i say that tamil oak blue is locally common because if i went for butterflying any time if i go for butterflying any time tamil oak blue is the one which i am going to get this is open wing of female tamil oak blue this is a brilliant male which was just eclosed these are the life cycle images there is a difference in the uh images you can observe canara oak blue caterpillar will be having uh, black spots over here which is absent in tamil oak blue so just by looking at the caterpillar we can just say whether it is uh, tamil canela canara or aberrant oak blue 
these two are pupae this is the pupa just before the uh, eclosion these are another two oak blues which i have seen in halgeri this is large oak blue this is open wing of male butterfly of large oak blue this is western centaur oak blue out of six oak blues what are seen in western ghats i have got five and i have reared all the five butterflies using hopia ponga tender leaves one special feature is that these two oak, uh, oak blues large and western centaur oak blues they lay eggs on the aged leaves whereas tamil oak blue and canara oak blue they will lay eggs uh, on the tender shoot of hopia ponga trees so the people say that uh, these two butterflies require ant assistance for the life cycle but i have read them without the assistance of ants also and the butterfly emerged successfully the life cycle was successful moving on to the next one which was a cracker from my area that is banded royal the first time i photographed banded royal on 3rd november 2013 from then on every year i am watching this banded royal on flowers of sopna tree this is the tree which i have to watch out for royals in my area yeah one more from the same tree on the same date that was broad tail royal this was uh, during 2014 only the photo was taken i uh, i have seen about uh, four to five individuals of broad tail royal on the plant moving on to the next one a terrific butterfly which was seen or which i have got from my area was the silver royal this silver royal it has an interesting story the photo was taken on 22nd of november 2014 i was actually going to sirsi to you know for my work and while moving uh, i should cross the area what i have shown in the probably in the third slide i was walking actually i was going and suddenly i saw this something silvery butterfly you know uh, fell on the ground immediately i called ashok sen gupta sir and i said sir i got some butterfly which is silvery in color which is which is shining so much i don't know what is that because during that time i was not having any books on butterflies to refer the only reference i was having was ashok sen gupta sir or else prashant bhat sir whenever i used to get butterflies i used to call them immediately and i used to send the images ashok sir said you send the image immediately i took the photograph i collected the specimen and sent it to sent the image to ashok sir he said oh my god this is silver royal probably the first Uh, photographic record from karnataka he used to say one record was there from mangalore it seems probably this was the one photographic record from karnataka he was saying and i my you know i was uh, not able to believe that because those were the first you know those were the starting days of my butterfly this silver royal broad tail royal and banded royal all the three butterflies i got on the same day so that was a big day in my life of butterflying moving on to the next one that was another cracker from halgeri that was the brown onyx you know in halgeri butterflies won't sit at the lower elevations or lower heights they always will be sitting at the top of the tree only we need at least 200 mm lens to catch them as a photograph so this was also one such butterfly which was sitting almost uh, you know 20 to 25 feet from the ground i was butterflying and 
I saw some flies and over the canopy and I saw some butterflies sitting on the leaf. What I just did was I took a photograph and zoomed it. I was not knowing about brown onyx. I just zoomed it and saw, okay, this is some new butterfly which I got, another new species added to my list. That's what I was feeling. I came home and uh, started searching and got to know that this is brown onyx. Immediately, my, you know, my job is to call Ashok sir. I called sir, I got brown onyx. He said, impossible. You know, since 60 years, there is no report of brown onyx from Karnataka, he said. Immediately, I sent the photograph to him and he was, uh, you know, amazed by looking at this. This photo was taken on 15th of December 2013, just after, uh, you know, mm, three months of uh, my journey in butterflying, I got brown onyx. Another uh, fantastic day was getting, you know, this day when I got brown onyx. Not only brown onyx, I got common onyx also from Hulgeri. The name is common, but this onyx is not very common actually. They are territorial. Once if you see them in a place, you can watch them in the same place for about two to three months. I have watched them from November to January 25th of uh, 2016. The first record was on 15th, the same day when I got the brown onyx. 15th December 2013 was the first record of common onyx from Haligiri. I saw mating common onyxes. I saw the male basking. I saw females. I saw, you know, many specimen of common onyx from here. I saw them for about uh, three years. 2013, there was a record of common onyx from Helgeri. 2014, it was there from November to January. 2015 also from November to January, I had seen common onyx. 2016 was the last year when I spotted common onyx from Helgeri. So till now, from 2016, I am searching for these beauties. The problem is they might be there, I don't know. The problem is that they usually bask on the top of tree which are very high. One need to climb the trees to spot them, to photograph them. These photographs are taken after climbing a tree actually. I used to climb the trees during 2013, but now I forgot it seems, or I think. These were the photographs that um, you know, the butterflies were sitting at uh, higher heights only. So this was another blue butterfly, Lycanidae, which was spotted from Halagiri. One more was the dark piero, which is a scheduled species. This is a fluffy tit, which I saw just once from Halagiri. This is indigo flash. This is the only silver line from Halagiri, which I have seen till today. This is the long banded silver line, which you can observe every year. They will be common in the post monsoon season from September till uh, March or till February, you can observe long banded silver lines here. And this is uh, plain hedge blue. There are only two hedge blues uh, what I have recorded from Halagiri. One is common hedge blue, which is very common. And another one is a plain hedge blue. This is plain, which is uh, a regular visitor on Lea indica. Usually when Lea indica starts flowering, in one or the other places, uh, I could watch these planes. And this is silver streak blue. And I have, uh, I saw this butterfly two or three times in my, you know, uh, experience of butterflying. <clears throat> this is a pointed ciliate blue, another blue from recorded, uh, which is very common in Halagiri. You can watch this butterfly from uh, September till uh, February. You can watch it regularly if there are some mud puddling spots like uh, cattle shed. 
cattle shed attracts the blues very much usually the butterflies will be mud puddling beside the cattle shed if there is a watery area and this is another butterfly common tinsel which is okay okay common uh, in algeri you can watch this at least once in a year i have reared this common tinsel on hopia ponga uh, there were about four to five eggs of common tinsel when i collected them and i have reared all of them and uh, left into the halagiri forest again this is a uh, yam fly which is not very common here and this is a common line blue this is a oriental grass jewel this butterfly this small butterfly i have seen just a few times in halagiri this is a regular visitor when uh, you know uh, we have areca nut farm and for areca nut uh, trees we will put uh, organic manure so once in a year we will take it out from we will take out the organic manure from the spot where we does that so during that this butterfly usually visits and moving on to the next slide i have some grass blues which were rep reported from halagiri and this is the dinghy line blue the first report of this dinghy line blue from halagiri was the last year but this year this is a common visitor it visits uh, the areca nut fresh areca nut frequently this is the time when we harvest the areca nut and uh, that is the time for time for almost all the blues they will come and sit near the house only we should be watching that sit i have seen three individuals of dinghy line blues today today also i went for butterfly i saw three individuals of dinghy line blue moving on to the next slide i have the family hesperidae the host plant of these butterflies are seen everywhere in halagiri we will call that in kannada as guruge matti you know it is like it will be spread everywhere and that's why these butterflies are common in halagiri common spotted flat spotted small flat and this one is common spotted flat so sorry this one is uh, common small flat first one is common small common small flat next the second one is the water snow flat common spotted flat spotted small flat and next one is suffused snow flat tamil spotted flat malbar spotted flat pulvis uh, pied flat and this tricolor pied flat all these are seen almost all the time in halagiri the reason is their host plant is too common in halagiri uh, you know getting the early stages of these butterflies is a little difficult because if you see anywhere there is host plant of this anywhere and everywhere we can see the host plant of these flats that is the reason why identify or getting the early stages of these butterflies is little difficult in halagiri next one is chestnut angle which is seen pretty commonly in halagiri then this is golden angle which i have seen just once spotted angle that also i have seen two times in halagiri one was uh, this year only this photograph was taken in 2013 or 14 i hope then next one is owls and owlets you know photographing or getting these owls and owlets is uh, not a simple deal actually because they are not regular you can watch it every, you cannot watch it everywhere getting them is a part of our luck actually these brown owls are common they visit uh, soap nut flowers regularly when soap nut tree starts flowering no brown owl will be there this orange owlet i have seen it uh, twice or thrice in halagiri this butterfly came to cattle shed in our house so luckily i was there and the camera was not with me actually 
I immediately ran and brought my camera. It gave me so many poses. So another beautiful butterfly from Halegiri. This is plain banded owl, which I saw one or two times. That's it. This is common banded owl, which is not very common in Halegiri. One more owl was white banded owl, which I got from Halegiri, which I have recorded from Halegiri. That photo is missing somewhere. I have to search for it. Next one is uh, this pale green owlet. This pale green owlet was a regular visitor on gumberry flowers. This is the gumberry plant. When this flower was, uh, you know, when this plant was flowering, pale green owlet was the regular visitor. I have seen this butterfly at least for four to five days on the same plant. Even if there were many plants. With such flowers, I saw this butterfly at least for three to four days last year. But this year, I couldn't see it uh, near my house. Probably it is nectaring somewhere away from my house. I don't know. Next one is Pramil grass dart, which is another endemic butterfly seen in Halagiri, which is a pretty common butterfly. You can watch this butterfly during. Monsoon frequently, it will be everywhere. This is Tamil dartlet, which is another common butterfly and endemic butterfly from Halagiri. Moving on to the next slide, this is this was another cracker from my area. That was small palm bob. I saw this butterfly first time at Joke Falls. I was, you know. My wish was to get this butterfly at Halagiri at least once. Luckily, I got it last year. So this is small palm bob, and we have it uh, in our place near my home only. There is host plant for this also, for this butterfly. That's why I can watch it there. And this is tree flutter, common tree flutter, which can be seen, you know, almost every. Almost in all the seasons, we can watch this butterfly. This is a golden tree flutter, which is not very common. A beautiful butterfly, which is uh, territorial. I can say once it starts uh, nectaring in some place on some plant, it will visit that plant every day. This is the Lia indica flower on which it is um, nectaring. I have seen this butterfly on the same plant at least for ten days, so that much common it was, uh, and that was that much common visitor it was in the last year. Moving on to the next slide, since we have areca nut farm, we grow turmeric as the side product in our farm, so these butterflies are common in those places. In the farm area, we can watch uh, common banded demon, restricted demon, grass demon commonly, and we can spot the early stages of these also on the same plant. Moving on to the next slide, I have uh, Papilionidae, which are the most beautiful butterflies, the most beautiful family of butterflies, I can say. these butterflies can be seen by almost all the people even the common uh, man can uh, identify these butterflies you know in my area i am known as uh, you know girl with uh, butterflies a girl of butterflies chitta akka they used to call me because i used to go for butterflying regularly at least uh, from 2013 to 2015 i used to go for butterflying once or twice in a week actually but after 2018 yeah after 2018 it is uh, butterflying i will do butterflying every day because i am staying at halgeri only uh, so the first butterfly i am going to cover and the family papilionidae is the biggest butterfly of india and the state butterfly of karnataka that is southern birdwing there is a special special feature for this butterfly also that i am going to discuss almost at the end of this slide and the next one is malbar banded 
peacock which is an elusive beautiful butterfly from my place which is you know it is it will not rest if you want to take take photograph it is a bit a difficult task only because it won't rest at all it will be flying flying and flying if you are lucky enough you can get the resting photo of malbar banded peacock and one more the most common butterfly from my area is malbar banded swallowtail though the people say that this is not very common though the people say that this is a rare butterfly i say it is common in my area almost in all the places wherever there is a shoka flower or the flower which i have shown last this one i don't know the name this is ter who we call in canada i don't know the english name for the same wherever those flowers are there no malbar banded swallowtail will be there probably i have 1000 plus photographs of malbar banded swallowtail from my area this is that common in my area from uh, april till uh, february you can watch this butterfly it will be a regular visitor until january i can say from february actually the dry season starts in halagiri you cannot watch um, many butterflies here it will be a dry season from february till april end if the rain starts early it will be till april april uh, first week so that will be dry area during that uh, time you cannot watch many butterflies here papilio nidae will be almost absent some blues will be there including uh, the oak blues what i have told oak blues will be there almost uh, all the time in dry season also i have not seen uh, the egg-laying of this butterfly i didn't see even the post plant of this butterfly also in my area because i'm poor in uh, botany to be very frank then moving on to the next slide this is another beautiful butterfly which was almost uh, you know old which was almost aged this butterfly was almost aged that is a paris peacock which is a regular visitor during the post monsoon season post monsoon season is a festival for uh, papilionidae to be uh, specific you can watch almost all the papilionidae butterflies during that time the next one is this malbar rose which is another common butterfly from my area you can watch about 5 to 6 individuals of this butterfly at a time that much common they will be but the photographing them is a little difficult as they are restless then the next one is red helen which is another common butterfly from my area which is endemic to western ghats but it is pretty common from my area and the one is blue momen state butterfly of maharashtra is common in my place also you can watch it everywhere you can watch even the early stages of this butterfly on uh, citrus plant the next one is um, malbar raven which is uh, another common butterfly butterfly during post monsoon seasons you cannot watch it every time from september till uh, january you can watch it in my area so this is a uh, narrow banded uh, blue bottle which can be seen throughout the year it will be mud puddling it will be nectaring you can watch it uh, everywhere this was the most wanted butterfly for me till uh, last year actually five bar swart tail i wanted this badly but i couldn't uh, get it anywhere in my area i was watching i was watching everywhere the dry streams i was watching to get this butterfly but i couldn't get it anywhere there but luckily as i have told you we will uh, remove the cat um, this organic manure once in a year at that spot this fibers well swart tail came and sat the you know the coolie uh, the people who remove 
the organic manual they called me uh, akka there is some chitte they called and immediately i ran with my camera and this was five bars valdo uh, five bars for tail which came to visit me at my house only that is another interesting part in my butterfly experience moving on to the next family pyodinide we have only one butterfly that is uh, suffused double banded judy i have seen the life cycle of this butterfly also i don't remember the botanical name of this plant in canada we will call this as vayu vilanga we will make um, you know we use this for cooking purpose also this is having very good medicinal value actually uh, if you want to avoid uh, paralysis or if you want to avoid yeah vata and then you can make use of this vayu vilanga these are the caterpillars second in star third and last in star caterpillars uh, what i have read here this is uh, before pupation and these are the pupae which i observed from halgeri this is the pretty common in halgeri because this plant is common you can see at least uh, 50 or 60 plants of this uh, butterfly in an area of 2 uh, uh, to 3 kilometers that much common it is that's why the butterfly is also very common moving on to the next family in infolidae we have the angel that is malbar tree nymph yeah you can watch this from november till uh, may you can watch this here in the rainy season i don't know where it disappears the next one is towny raja getting this towny raja uh, in camera is a matter of luck actually since this is a fast flyer it usually sits on the canopy only only twice i have seen it uh, mud puddling on uh, cow dung or something this is a common nawab this is double branded crow which is another common butterfly usually in halgeri you can watch uh, the migration of double branded crow and uh, common crows the blue tiger dark blue tiger the migration can be seen during february and march if there is a rain in february you can watch the migration in february itself this is the photograph of congregation of these butterflies which i have taken on 19th march of 2018 in 2017 the congregation was observed in february itself during uh, february 12th or 13th i have observed them congregating and after two or three days they vanished from that place i don't know in which direction they were moving since it is difficult to trace them because of the hill station and the trees over here it is difficult to trace these migrating butterflies at my place these are some blue tigers and uh, common crows which were congregated on a dry dead plant there were about 400 to 500 individuals of these butterflies when i saw moving on to the next slide i have a southern duffer which i saw only once in my butterfly experience that was on 26th uh, july of 2014 that was a cloudy evening sun shade was not there actually whole day was cloudy i went for better flying by 5 o'clock and this was moving directly in the shade i got the photograph and that was the that is the only photograph i am having of uh, southern duffer this is uh, dark evening brown this is open wing of common evening brown which is a common in, a visitor inside our house also in the evening time you can watch this butterfly inside the house also it will be attracted to the light 
then this is another different pattern you can observe on a common evening brown which uh, i photographed in 2020 or 2019 i hope a different pattern of uh, common evening brown even i have photographed a great evening brown also that was just a record shot and i am not including that photograph in my presentation moving on we have these two tree browns in our area tamil tree brown which is pretty common and another one is uh, bamboo tree brown these two butterflies are these two butterflies were common actually from 2013 till 2018 these two butterflies were very common i used to watch them every day but during 2019 and uh, 2000 from 2018 itself by the end of 2018 itself bamboo trees started dying and this butterfly density of these butterflies was also or was also went on decreasing but now this year after 2018 in 2022 i am watching these butterflies again Mm, the reason might be the bamboos are again you know they started um, shooting up this year that might be another reason for these butterflies to come out i don't know and i hope that might be the reason to get this butterfly uh, butterflies again in my place these two butterflies they usually you know they will be extracting the juice of anjur fruit when anjur starts ripening no these butterflies visit regularly then the next one is and the time is getting over i'll finish it off this is um, tamil lace wing which is a common visitor then cruiser male and female both are common visitors tamil yoman this is commander common leopard rustic all these are the common butterflies in halagiri these surgeons are seen in halagiri common surgeon staff surgeon black queen surgeon color surgeon except staff uh, staff surgeon these are common this is yellow jack sailor which is uh, another uh, beautiful butterfly from halagiri whose life cycle was reported by ashok sen gupta sir from halagiri itself these are some sailors common sailor chestnut streak sailor this is common lasker this is um, red spot duke which is a common visitor again this is map which i photographed today also from algeri another common visitor here this is black prince which is another common butterfly whose host plant is pretty common in algeri i have reared them also many a times these are some images fresh specimen only then this is um, blue oak leaf another common butterfly on ripened anjur fruit clipper is not very common this is um, grey count another common butterfly common baron painted lady painted lady will be seen during april and may only i have not seen them any other time this is 198th butterfly which i got day before yesterday anemalus nawab which was uh, laying eggs on this uh, i don't know the scientific name we will call this plant in canada as ratna gentige this is a flowering plant on this plant anemalus nawab was laying eggs moving on to the yellows and whites we have these yellows common grass yellow one spot three spot small grass yellow all these we have commonly here this is a great orange tip psyche common albatross pioneer lesser gull which is not very common common uh, gull and this indian jezebel all these are seen over here uh, so while uh, telling about uh, or while explaining the butterflies of uttar kannada district i should not forget butterflying at joke falls because Joke Falls. Actually, this part of Joke Falls belongs to Shimoga district, but this part of the falls belongs to Uttar Kannada. It belongs to Siddapur Taluk actually, and Joke Falls is a hot spot for butterflies. As I have seen, 
joke falls is a hot spot if you want to better fly if you want to get more and more number of species from western ghats you should visit joke falls at least once and we three uh these two were my companions you know uh, for better flying in halgeri many a times ashok sir and prashant but sir these two are my godfathers prashant sir brought me into the field of better flying and ashok sir is nourishing me in the field of better flying that's what i can say so this is uh, a photo taken at jok falls we went for jok uh, you know better flying at jok falls many a times probably two or three times this is the data we have collected during 2015 on 10th of um, october we saw 63 species of butterflies on 11th we saw 81 species we went for you know two days the butterflying at jok falls from morning 9 till the evening 5 so during that time these observations are were made many interesting butterflies were spotted at jok falls that is silver streaked acacia blue tamil cat's eye which is uh, pretty common at jok falls which is not seen in my place this is small palm bob this is egg of small palm bob which was sighted at jok falls this is coon golden tree flutter lesser gull all these were spotted at jok falls these were you know early stage images of uh, lesser gull yeah and with this i am introducing or i am drawing your attention towards another important part of uttar kannada in this world another interesting part here uttar kannada is a house for endemic or you know uh, a special swamps that is mystica swamps these are the roots of mystica swamps in the world these mystica swamps are found only in three or four regions one such region is uttar kannada these trees are seen in three places in uh, siddapur taluk itself they are seen in three places one is near jok falls that we'll call as kattale kanu and another one is torme which is uh, near to my home one more place is um, danmau which is my grandmother's place in all these three places we can saw this mystica swamps this is a fresh water ecosystem which is having a special character of uh, sustaining the sustaining the floods it, it is having you know very high importance uh, in the diversity actually once why i am introducing this plant is that when these trees start flowering one of the major pollinators of this tree is none other than our idea malbarica that is malbar tree name one of the major pollinators is idea malbarica so if idea malbarica is not there then these trees may start vanishing so it is our duty to save this precious ecosystem which is connected with the existence of malbar tree nymph then one more special observation i have done from halageri that is uh, we have these many you know colors of this flower in our home but surprisingly all the papilionidae butterflies including southern bird wing that um, malbar uh, 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 banded swallowtail all those papilionidae red helen blue momen all these butterflies will be attracted only to the red flowers they won't attend all these colors they attend only the flowers of red color that much selective the nature is being a student of chemistry i always wonder about the selectivity and um, you know uh, the stereo specificity of nature and this is another fascinating selectivity what i have observed in nature one more is we have many colors of this plant and uh, the red helen is the main pollinator for this during monsoon season only this plant these plants start producing seeds in other seasons the seeds will be absent we should plant 
the shoots of this uh, uh, you know we should plant the twigs only during monsoon only we can see the seeds the reason is red helen during monsoon the density or the numbers of red helen will be more and they will be pollinating that is the reason why we can observe the seeds these are two another two interesting observations i have done sitting at my home itself the special character of red helen is it won't pollinate each and every color a uh, flower of each and every color it will do mainly with the red shades only this orange red colored flower only will be pollinated by or it will be attended by red helen not other not others so with this i'm going to conclude my presentation so before that you know the butterflies are the important um, you know uh, what i have to say these are important creatures in our nature so it is our duty to save them it is our duty to give this uh, uh, knowledge to our next generation also so staying at the village staying in the middle of the forest i am doing i am doing the best what i can do i am imparting this knowledge to my daughter also who is 4 uh, years old she can identify about 6 uh, to 7 butterflies already she also shoot uh, she, she also photographs them with her point and shoot camera so looking at me you know the children uh, they will follow the parents so if we are keen about the nature the next generation also will be that's what i believe in so it's our duty to do the same with this i'm closing my presentation thank you bbc for giving me an opportunity to present my recordings from uttar kannada that is from halageri on this platform i also thank ashok sir prashant bhat sir and my family for the continuous support over to you thank you uh thank you netra it was such a wonderful talk so after learning the butterflies of halageri and siddapur i'm pretty much sure all of us would like to visit uh, siddapur now so there are few questions from the chat uh, i will read about it okay. so the first question is from uh, sandeep nadahalli uh, he's saying how to get started with identifying butterflies any introductory books videos any websites that you have come across yeah there are many books uh, you know to get the identification the main uh, books i am referring is one um, butterflies of western ghats from by milind bakare and hemant ogle another one is butterflies of india by isaac kahimkar one more important reference i am going to do is i found butterflies website whenever i get the new butterflies no i'll just uh, and to get it confirmed i'll just click the names in i found butterflies.org and i'll get it confirmed so these three are the major references we can have to identify the butterflies of western ghats with that there will be assistance of experts like ashok sir hanish sir and uh, milind bakre sir krishna mega kunte sir all those people will be you know uh, they will uh, help us uh, in identifying the butterflies thank you so the next question is from manideep so he is asking okay. uh, have you seen any butterfly population fluctuation over the years in halikeri and in which year did you notice the uh, low population yeah i have seen during uh, the during the first few years of butterflying the butterfly density was too much i could see butterflies each and everywhere you know if i see a rustic rustic was too common i could see about uh, 20 25 specimens in an hour uh, the tamil yomen was too common but nowadays i don't know whether it is because of the uneven rains tamil yomen density is decreasing we cannot watch it everywhere you can see one or two individuals only uh, usually as i have seen from 2020 
the butterflying experience is changing with me the individuals what i have seen from 2020 is not much the reason might be the unusual rains from 2020 we have rains throughout the year usually in our area there will be three seasons one is months that is rainy season then comes winter then summer but now rainy season will you know throughout the year we will have rainy season that might be one of the reasons for the uh, decrease in the number of butterflies in my area after 2020 yeah thank you so uh, have you tried to map the host plants over there like how many are there uh, i have read only a few butterflies from here i am no, not good butterflies in the sense have you uh, counted that how many uh, plants or host plants are present in within your area i have not counted actually there are many you know this uh, this part of western ghats is uh, known for diversity in uh, yeah yeah. Uh, yeah diversity it is known for diversity so there will be many i i have not counted yet <laughs> no, no no problem so, but okay. uh, were there any at least uh, fluctuation in the flowering season which you have observed like suddenly one kind of uh, say for, for example the flowering was not have was supposed to happen in summer but it is happening in late uh, monsoon season is it some kind of fluctuation have you seen yeah i have seen usually the mango flowers there will be lot uh, lot of fluctuations in the flowering of mango trees mango trees also attract many blues actually so uh, whenever that mango tree flowers no then only i could see some blues otherwise uh, uh, when it was not flowering they may not uh, come to the lower heights they might be basking at the Uh, canopy they might be at the top of some trees i don't know but during the flowering itself if the flowering is uh, you know it is disturbed then obviously i cannot see many blues uh, at the lower heights thank you netra uh, if anybody else has any question they can unmute themselves and ask questions Uh, Netra, ma'am, this is Virain from Kolhapur. Hi. Uh, very nice presentation and amazing collection of all the butterflies in your area. Thank you. Uh, I would like to know which is the best season to visit your place. <laughs> this is the now it now itself is the best season actually. Okay. From so... uh, September to December, it will be the best time to visit. Okay. And I cannot assure you that you will get uh, all the butterflies what I have got. Definitely. Because uh, yeah, you yeah. know, the, you have worked uh, for nine years actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oak blues will be there almost uh, all the time. Other okay. butterflies, uh, I cannot uh, assure you. Acha, acha, fine, okay. no problem. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Are there any more questions from anyone? so uh, if we don't have any questions i would like to thank uh, netra once again and i'm uh, hoping to uh, look for butterflies in your area and explore more yeah <laughs> already already in my mind i am like let me book the bus ticket <laughs> <laughs> i should be free to take you know <laughs> uh, thank you very much and uh, thank you everyone to attending yeah. the talk thank you thank you so uh, recordings will be available in our uh, youtube channel and don't miss the two more talks which is going to be happening at the same time 7 pm tomorrow please do attend thank you have a nice thank evening you.